Just in Time is a demand pull system of production. Its aim is to reduce inventory levels to zero. Just in Time can be applied to both production within an organization and the purchasing of supplies from out with the organization. It is a supply chain management process that aims to produce necessary quantities at the necessary time. In a more conventional inventory system, materials are purchased in advance in anticipation of production and sales. This is known as a push system because inventory is pushed into the system by manufacturing. Just-in-time purchasing involves only ordering materials when a customer places an order. Goods received are not stored, instead they go straight into production. Just-in-time production is a demand-driven production system. Each component on a production line is only produced when it's needed for the next stage. The requirements for a successful just-in-time operating system are high quality and reliability, elimination of non-value added activities, speed of throughput, flexibility, and lower costs. High quality and reliability. The emphasis here is on getting things right the first time, because with a just-in-time production, any disruptions or holdups slows down the process as an organization doesn't have stores of components to use during the production disruption. Highly skilled and well-trained employees are required here. Computer-aided manufacturing technologies will assist here also. Machinery must be well-maintained to avoid machine breakdowns. This results in idle time, which ultimately delays the deliveries to customers. And strong links with suppliers must be developed and maintained. Suppliers need to be reliable, fast, and of a high quality, so as to minimize any stoppages in production. Elimination of non-value adding activities. This can be through the likes of business process re-engineering. Speed of throughput. The speed of production should be matched with customer demand. This may rely on up-to-date information technology and accurate forecasts. An unexpected rise or fall in demand could cause problems with the manufacturing process here. Flexibility. A flexible workforce and supplier system is needed in order to be able to respond immediately to customer orders. Lower cost. Another objective of Just-in-Time is the reduction of costs through raised quality and the elimination of waste. This can be through total quality management achieving faster throughput through the elimination of non-value adding activities or training of highly skilled employees and through the minimization of inventory levels. Stock will not become obsolete or the organization does not have to tie up large quantities of cash in stock. Just-in-time philosophy can be applied to the service sector just as well as the production industry through focusing on customer waiting times and looking at ways of continuously improving the service provided through the elimination of non-value adding activities. The main benefits of a just-in-time inventory system are reduced working capital requirement and an improved liquidity position as the organization does not have to tie up large quantities of cash in inventory reduced risk of inventory obsolescence and inventory theft and damage, reduced inventory holding and storage costs, achieving faster throughput through the elimination of non-value adding activities or training of highly skilled employees. Things to consider when thinking of difficulties associated with the implementation of a just-in-time system are the difficulty of forecasting demand. Accuracy in forecasting is important in just-in-time. Close links with customers are required to be able to accurately forecast demand. The difficulty of receiving supplies on demand with a just-in-time system. Close links with suppliers are required to ensure reliability and quality of supplies. When implementing a just-in-time process, suppliers will need to be made fully aware of what is expected of them, 
as delays in receipts of supplies will delay the whole production process. A detailed review of the supply chain will be required and the use of local suppliers may be required here. Changing the mindset of employees. Just-in-time manufacturing requires full commitment from management and staff. This could be achieved through training and development.